The video went viral faster than usual. President Biden at the G7 summit in Italy, surrounded by world leaders, appearing to wander off before being pulled back to the group by the Italian Prime Minister. In reality, another camera angle showed the president was actually trying to greet skydivers who just finished a demonstration. But the Republican National Committee and conservative media quickly amplified the first angle, falsely claiming the president was meandering. The Biden campaign is calling it a, quote, cheap fake. What is a cheap fake? Cheap fakes are, are these you know, deceptively edited videos, uh, and they're a huge part of, of Donald Trump's campaign strategy. Rob Flaherty is Biden's deputy campaign manager who's overseeing the escalating digital war and slamming the Trump campaign, saying it's increasingly taking videos out of context. We have to be more aggressive about monitoring, about intervening, about um, uh, taking action against it because it is just going to be such a centerpiece of, of how he's communicating. That G7 video is among a string of clips that some Republicans say raises concerns about President Biden's age and abilities. Tonight, the Trump campaign is arguing there's nothing wrong with highlighting videos that are not digitally altered, like this clip of President Biden standing still for several seconds on stage at a Hollywood fundraiser until former President Obama leads him off stage. And another where he also stood still as people danced around him during a Juneteenth celebration. The White House says the president did not freeze in these incidents, but was enjoying the moments. Tonight, the Trump team telling us... The Biden campaign is trying to convince the American public not to believe their own eyes. We are simply posting these videos for the world to see and to come to their own conclusion on, which the American public has. The Trump campaign argues the Biden team has taken the former president's words out of context. We're going to put a 100% tariff on every single car that comes across the line. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath. By claiming that comment referred to political violence instead of economic pain. Then he said if he loses, it's going to be a bloodbath. It's called the bloodbath hoax, taking my words completely out of context. There's always been misinformation during campaigns, but this election cycle, cyber experts expect much more of it, including AI-generated deepfakes. Current and former officials tell NBC News that the FBI and Department of Homeland Security have no firm plan to alert the public about deep fakes or other false information during the 2024 election, unless it's clearly coming from a foreign actor and poses a sufficiently grave threat. A digital battlefield raising questions about free speech, censorship, and partisan politics. Gabe Gutierrez, NBC News, Wilmington, Delaware. Hollywood.